Um, thank you so much for coming today, um, right now. Um, we are so excited that you are here. Um, I'm here to say that maybe if we can um, squeeze into the middle so that we can have the other people who are coming in, so that we can have enough seats for everyone. Thank you so much.
All right, all right, all right. Now who here is ready for a night of entertaining music and breathtaking performances? Did you guys enjoy the food at the Luau? Well, good for you because I'm starving. Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the 32nd annual Island Magic Luau and Show. My name is Kobe Gerto, and I am from the Republic of Palau. Thank you, thank you. In my country, we say Ali. Can I get an Ali? Ali. Yes, I love this crowd, don't you guys? <laughs> okay. Um, hello, everyone. Once again, um, my name is Maicho Ralfo. I am from the Republic of the Marshall Islands, and I will. <laughs> I am also one of your O's for the night. Um, in the Marshall Island, we say Yakwe as our greeting. Can you say Yakwe? Great job, thank you. Hi everyone. Can we give them another round of applause? My name is Nana, and I am your last host for tonight. I'm from the island of Saipan, 
the capital of the Northern Mariana Islands. And in my island, we have two greetings from our two indigenous people. The first one is Hafiday. Can you all say Hafiday? I think you guys can do better than that. Let's say Hafiday well, on three. One, two, three. Hafiday. All right. And the second greeting is Tiro. Can you all say Tiro? Tiro. One more time. Tiro. Okay. We will begin our journey with a little geography lesson about the Pacific Highlands. The Pacific Ocean has an estimated 20,000 to 30,000 highlands. And these highlands are grouped into three categories called Melanesia, the Micronesia, and the Polynesia. Melanesia means the Black Islands. These islands include Papua New Guinea, Irian Jaya, New Caledonia, Vanuatu, Fiji, and Solomon Islands. Polynesia means many islands. These include New Zealand, the Hawaiian Islands, the Midway Islands, Western Samoa, American Samoa, Tonga, Tuvalu, the Cook Islands, French Polynesia, and Easter Islands. And then we also have the Micronesia, which means small islands. These include the Northern Marianas Highlands, Guam, Wake Island, Palau, the Marshall Islands, where I am from, Kiribati, Nauru, and the Federated States of the Micronesia, which includes the island of Chuk, Fan Bay, Kosrai, and Yap. And tonight, we are going to perform our songs and dances for you, as well as share more about our islands with you. In the Pacific Islands, we have faced many challenges and we want to share how they have made us en environmental protectors and climate change warriors. So tonight, we will start off at my home from the eastern, north and southwest, from the western side of Micronesia. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyways, back His to what home. I was saying. I'm, we will be performing for you tonight, so get ready for a little dash of that Palawan culture. Thank you. So I'm going to explain our flag. Um, our flag is a yellow golden, a golden yellow circle in the middle, which represents the moon, which has special meanings to us. Palauans consider the full moon to a prime time for many important activities, including celebration, fishing, planting, harvesting, and carving of traditional canoes that, are, that will be carried out. The moon is a symbol of peace, tranquility, good fortune, and new beginnings. The blue background represents the ocean and its importance for us. Palau is best known for its beautiful reefs, which have been recognized as one of the seven underwater wonders of the world. Many people travel to Palau to try our cultural cuisines, swim at the Jellyfish Lake, and visit the Rock Islands, as well as many more. Thank you. We would now like to describe one of the environmental challenges in Palau. Today, Palau's reefs are being threatened by coral bleaching. When the coral dies, it endangers many species that depend on them. But we do not wait for solutions. Our leaders make changes in policies to protect our islands. In 2012, the president, Tommy Roman Gasu, was awarded champion of the earth for, its, for his outstanding efforts. One of them was creating the Palau Pledge. The pledge is a signed commitment to ensure visitors act ecologically responsible on the island for the sake of Palau's future. Now, to represent Palau, we have the Palauan Metamatong, which is a traditional dance known as the marching dance. The Palauan Boid is a traditional chant that is used in ceremonies and special occasions, and also cultural events that tell a story in a musical way. Thank you so much, and you enjoy.
Wasn't that just beautiful? Okay, so now we move on to the island of Kiribes. In Kiribes, we say um, Maori as our greeting. Can you say Maori? Maori? Good job. The flag of Kiribes is a cold bird that symbolizes the command of the sea, power, and freedom. The blue represents the ocean and the islands of Kiribes, Phoenix and the line. The 17 rays of the sun represent the 16 Kiribati Islands and Banaba. Kiribati is best known for the beautiful island scenery, the beautiful white sandy beaches, and one of the best places to spend your vacation, vacation in the lab of nature. The people of Kiribati also face environmental challenges. For years, scientists have been predicting that much of Kiribati may become uninhabitable because of environmental problems linked to climate change. The country's low atolls may be indented from storms, rising sea levels, and coastal erosion. By 2050, most of the land of the major islands is likely to be buried by the ocean. Although Kiribati is experiencing these challenges, 
we stand together and we stand strong. Here to represent Kiribati tonight, we have the dances Beibag Kawe and Ne Tekevekeve. The musical narrative describes everyday life in Kiribati. Sit back, relax, enjoy the performance.
Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, also known as the CNMI. You will see that on our flag, we have the Lariston and the Muar, which represents the Chamorro and Rafalawash people. The star in the middle represents the alliance that the United States has with the people of the Marianas. The CNMI is known for its beautiful sites like Managa, Taga Beach, and the Grotto. The CNMI is also known for its lush tropical scenery and historical sites, shipwrecks, and relics after World War II. We too face many environmental challenges. In 2015, Typhoon Sotolor hit the CNMI. It destroyed many homes, buildings, displaced families, and especially wrecked our way of life. We lived without electricity and running water for more than four months. It took many people over a year to rebuild their homes, their strength, and their spirit. And just last October, Super Typhoon U2 hit again. Till this day, we are still in the process of recovering but we are stronger than any typhoon that can hit us. We are thankful to the faculty, staff, students, and community members who donated items and supported us through the typhoon relief efforts. We are grateful and we thank you for your support. Thank you so much, Taliana. So despite their challenges, they are here to represent their home and showcase their strength. The dance they will be performing is a song called Chamorita Girl, written by the very well-known artist, Casey De Leon Correro, and the musical narrative honors the beautiful Chamorro woman of the Northern Mariana Highlands. And here we have the beautiful woman performing for you tonight. We hope you enjoy. Mm -hmm. 
Wasn't that just beautiful? I'm going to give you guys a moment to soak it all in. Yes. Okay, so up next, we visit the beautiful island of New Zealand. The greeting in New Zealand is ki ora. Can you say ki ora? Can I hear that louder? Guys, guys, louder. Ooh, better. Okay, so the stars on the flag represents the Southern Cross within the Crocs constellation, which shows the location of New Zealand in the South Pacific Ocean. The Union Jack on the top left corner represents the occupation of Great Britain, and the color blue represents the sea and the sky. From, from Cape Reina's lighthouse to Waiotapu's geothermal wonderland, New Zealand is famous for its Mount Cook National Park, also known as Auraki. And uh, just a fun fact, the whole Hobbit show took place in New Zealand. Like other, New Ze like other highlands, New Zealand faces, faces our ships with climate change. They are already going through a massive change in temperatures and rainfalls. Last year, Storm Faye, uh, brutally flooded and damaged the island's beauty with enormous amounts of rain and waves. But in New Zealand, there have been other uh, ships. As we gather tonight, let us please take a moment of silence to honor the victims of the Christchurch Mosque in New Zealand. Thank you so much. Up next, the, um, the next performance of the night is the Maori boy dance. The wahaine, which means female dancer, performs the dance using balls attached to strings called boy. The boy was used many years ago by the indigenous Maori people of New Zealand to increase their flexibility and strength, as well as improving coordination. Without further ado, we give you the New Zealand boy.
Wasn't that just amazing? <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Now we head to the Federated States of the Micronesia, where my colleague here, Dale, is from. Hello, everyone. My name is Dale, and I'm from the Marshall Island, as well as Chuk. In Chuk, our greeting is Randanu. Can you guys say Randanu? <laughs> Sounds great. Thank you so much, Dale. Great, thank you again. Um, for the Everson flag, the four stars represent the four island states of the Federation, which are Phone Bay, Chuk, Yab, and Grace Rai. The color blue represents the Pacific Ocean that unites the island state together and makes them one country. Togetherness is a very important part of our culture, and this style of dance always brings communities together. We hope you, we hope you enjoyed this performance. Thank you. So some parts of our homes from FSM are experiencing extreme tides known as king tides, causing floods that damage groundwater resources, taro beds, and soil. But instead of choosing to live in silence, warriors like Yolanda Joa Mori, she's the founder of Island Pride, which runs programs about climate change adaptation. Joa Mori has raised more than awareness on climate change and its effect towards Pacific Islanders. Another important island warrior is Dr. Joachim Jojo Peter. He co-founded Compact of Free Association Community and Advocacy Network, an advocacy network that provides awareness and support for legislative and legal initiatives that affects the lives of COFA citizens living in Hawaii and the United States. He is also a founding member of We Are Oceania. Dr. Jojo Peters recently passed away last week, and we honor his life's legacy and the influence of his work towards the advancement of our community and people. I am pleased to say that even though we are facing many challenges, we are here today to share our culture. The dance you're about to see is a modern contemporary style that is commonly performed as celebrations or event to display happiness of gathering with family. Togetherness is a very important part of our culture. And this style of dance always brings communities together. We hope you enjoy this performance. Thank you.
I think that performance um, deserves another round of applause. Now we would like to do a special tribute to our graduating seniors and would like to ask our uh, the, this year's club officers and our, our advisors to come up for this part of the program. Half a day, everyone. Have you been enjoying the show? <laughs> My name is Elizabeth Bossa, and I am from the island of Saipan, and I am currently the Navigators Club president. My name is Nimi George, and I'm a treasurer for this club, and I'm from Saipan. My name is Nicola, and I'm also from Saipan, and I'm the secretary of the Navigators Club. So I'll just go ahead and introduce myself. I'm the vice president of the club. 
Could we please have the following people come up to the stage? PJ et al., Desmond Anson, Casilda Aldens, Shasta Luker, Jessica Peterson, Mariela Caldera, Daisy Bedoya, Lexi Quaresma, Cypress Piercy, Misha Feely, and Ramon Fukuichi. Well, before I get started, I'd like to take this time to turn off my phone first. <laughs> this opportunity to personally thank you all for coming out to the show. Seeing this place packed as it is right now makes the month of planning, organizing, practicing, and all the time effort that all the students have put it worth is so again a so much thank you, if that made sense. As you heard earlier, the Island Magic Lou Island Show has been a part of the Eastern Oregonist tradition, tradition for 32 years. Many students from various islands of the Pacific, mainland USA, and other countries have come together each year to put in their time and effort, making this show a successful tradition each year. And so at this time, we would like to honor our seniors as this is their last Island Magic Luau and show, they have been involved in the success of this show during their time at Eastern Oregon University. So can we please give them a round of applause? On behalf of your Island Magic family, thank you for your commitment and dedication to the success of the Island Magic Luau and Show. Best of luck in accomplishing your future goals. We also like to take this time and just um, say thank you and honor our officers who um, really spent months and then this last couple of weeks making sure there's about 68 performers and volunteers and pulling that all together is quite a feat. So um, on behalf of all of us, we want to thank you and we're very proud of all the work you've done and uh, congratulations and thank you for your leadership. Let's say each name. Um, so Elizabeth Bassa. Nime George. <laughs> Dale Nabu. <laughs> Nikela Masayas. And we will now have a short 10 minute intermission. So Take a few minutes and get a, enjoy your um, little break, and we'll be back here in 10 minutes. So, thank you.
test one. Hi, everyone. So we have two more minutes left. So please come to your seats. We're about to start. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you were able to stretch and are ready for, for, for the part, next part of the show. Up next, we are going back to the Northern Mariana Highlands. We have men and women performing a mix of songs called Ina Now, Iklate, and Tuleti. The first song is a kiting song for Chamaru people to navigate safely through the sea and to the land. Tuleti is an ancient chant that calls out to their ancestors and to the creators, Bongtan and Fuhuna, for their permission to navigate through the oceans and to guide them safely on their voyage to, to find land. We hope you enjoyed this performance. Thank you.
Can we give them another round of applause? Our next performance is the Fierce Haka from New Zealand. The Haka is a type of ancient Maori war dance used on the battlefield, as well as when groups come together in peace. The Haka is a fierce display of a tribe's pride, strength, and unity. This particular Haka the men are performing for us tonight is a tribute to the hate violence and attacks at the mosque that recently occurred in New Zealand. So without further ado, the Haka. So intense. <laughs> now <laughs> we move on to my island, the Republic of the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands flag has a blue background that represents the ocean because of its importance in providing us with food and a path that connects us to the neighboring atolls. The white band means peace, the orange band means bravery. The pointy star is the sun, and the four elongated point, points symbolize the four centers, Majoro, Ibai, Chalud, and Weche. The Marshall Islands is known for its beautiful beaches, coral reefs, and attractive sunsets. However, it is mainly known for its people. They are full of life, culture, and happiness. They continue to show their strength and unity. Like many Pacific Islands, the Republic of the Marshall Islands is facing rising sea levels. For the Marshallese, the rising seas makes a huge impact on, the, on their daily lives. RMI is also struggling with the danger of more radioactive poisoning. As many as 105 nuclear tests have occurred. Tests were conducted on land and in water, causing mass amounts of radioactive fallout spreading through the, throughout the Marshall Islands. They have left residents with health problems and losing and long lasting effects on their ecosystem. But like all Pacific Islanders, the Marshallese have become warriors in the face of these problems. We are using our voices, voices to make change. 
Selena Liam was a strong voice for the Marshall Islands at the United Nations Climate Conference in Paris and continues to push for climate and environment protection action. Also, poet and activist Kathy Jetnil Kitchener spoke at the United Nations calling for the world to take notice of the effects of climate change. The next performance highlights a traditional story of Jebaro from the Marshall Islands and also known as the Great Race. It is a story of brothers who are going to be part of a race. Their mother asked each of them if she could ride, and the older brother said no. The youngest one agreed to have his mother ride with him. What he did not know is that his mother had a sail and showed him which helped him win the race. This story teaches the rewards of humility, generosity, and obedience, which are important Marshallese values. It also emphasizes the importance of the concept called Kochuparok, honoring the wisdom and importance of our mothers. So without further ado, we present the Marshallese dancers.
we give them one more round of applause? Now on to our next performance. We head back to the Republic of Palau. We now have the Palau Contemporary Dance. This dance is an adaptation of present day dance to modern music. Contemporary dance is not traditional, but has been integrated to be a part of the modern Palauan culture. If you see audience members come up and give money to the dancers, we want you to know that this is, a, that this is customary in Islander culture. For the audience members during the dance to show their appreciation by giving a dollar to either a dancer or by placing it on the stage near the dancer. We invite you to join in in this tradition if you like. Without further ado, we have the Palau Contemporary Dance. <laughs>
That was so wonderful. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Okay, so now we would like to t take this time to thank the organizations that have donated and supported this show. So thank you so much to Yoyu Senate Allegation Committee, Yoyu Vending Committee, Soresco Food Service, Looking Glass Bookstore, Yoyu Bookstore, Yoyu Theater and Music Departments, Yoyu Student Diversity and Inclusion, Center for Student Involvement, and a special thanks to our elders, Patrick and Valerie Camacho for helping with cooking. And then thank you so much to Elimi Padalok for helping with costumes. And thank you to our other friends, fellow EOU students, families, and community members who volunteer to help us make the luau and show a success. Most of all, we would like to thank all of you for coming out to the 32nd annual Ally Magic Luau and Show. This would have been, uh, wouldn't have been possible if it, it weren't for all of you being here with us. It means so much to see that even though most of us are from are far away from home, we are able to share our culture, cultures with you. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. Don't 